In this video, I'm going to introduce you to some common forces that show up in your, your book and early homework and quiz examples. Before I start off, I'd like to remind you or tell you that force is an example of a vector quantity. Just like velocity and acceleration, the magnitude of the force is important, as well as what direction is the force. So magnitude and direction. So, um, okay, and I'll, I'll just quickly remind you that the SI unit of force is called the Newton. All right. So the first force or first common force that I'm going to tell you about is referred to as the weight force. So every object that's around you on the earth has a weight force acting upon it, including you. And this is known as your weight. But if you look around, the, the computer that you might be watching this video on, it has a weight. And you can tell what its weight is if you try to pull it up off your table and support its weight without the help of the table, right? So that's called the weight. So I'm going to show you how to calculate a weight force. So it turns out there's a formula to calculate weight forces. The weight force depends on how much mass an object has. More massive things weigh more, right? A 50 kilogram object is going to weigh twice as much as a 25 kilogram object because, because it has twice the mass. But the weight equals, it's not equal to M, because remember, weight and mass are different concepts, so they can never be equal, right? So they are not equal, but I'm not finished yet. It turns out that if you take the mass of the object and you multiply by the acceleration due to gravity where the object is, so if the object's on Earth, you multiply by the acceleration due to gravity on Earth where the object is at, and the result of multiplying those two numbers is called the weight force. So at the surface of the Earth, for example, the acceleration due to gravity is 10 meters per second squared. And there's an extra piece of information that's really interesting. Downwards, right? Because acceleration due to gravity happens down. So for example, what if I have a person, right? So here's a person whose mass is 70 kilograms. I wonder what the weight of this person is. The weight of that person is equal to 70 times 10, right? So 70 kilograms times 10 meters per second squared. And the units for weight forces if you're using SI units, is newtons. So it's 70 times 10 newtons. So that's 700 newtons. But there was something that's very carefully supposed to come along for the ride. Remember that force is a vector. So this downwards direction is what needs to come along for the ride. That is, the weight of the person is 70 times 10 down newtons. There's the down, and here's the down. The weight force acting on this person is a 700 newton force that's aimed downwards. So I might diagram that over here. 700 newtons. Okay, so that's the weight force. And I showed you actually how to calculate it. There is a direction involved, the down arrow. 
And when you realize finally what the weight force is, there is both a magnitude and a direction. 700 newtons is the magnitude, downward is the direction. So that's the weight force that acts on the person. Another kind of force, actually let me uh, do this. Oops. Another kind of force is a little bit more generic. And this force I'm going to refer to as a contact type force. So contact forces happen between objects because they are trying to invade each other's space or cause the object to change shape when the object doesn't want to change shape. So pushes and pulls. And I've drawn a picture, right? It's a cartoon of a person. I'm going to refer to them as P. So this person P is pushing on a box here. And they, they are pushing on the box towards the right. And the box, I'm going to refer to it as B. And the box is resting on a table here. So the box is being supported against the weight force by the table. So the table must be pushing upwards on the box. The table, I'm going to call that object capital T. And also, there is another player in this um, game. It's actually the Earth, E. And I'd like you to notice that I have drawn the box in the color blue and everything else, all the other objects, the person, the earth, and the table, I've drawn them in orange because I want to keep them separate. I actually want to concentrate on one object at a time, so we're going to concentrate on the box. And in particular, we're going to concentrate on forces that act on the box. All right, so this is our focus. It's to concentrate on forces acting on the box. So up here, we had a person. And I showed you how to understand what's called the weight force that acts on the person. And this weight force for this person was 700 newtons. That 700 newton force, we are not going to concentrate it for the concentrate on it for the box, because that 700 newton force does not act on the box. It acts on the person. So let's concentrate only on the box. So let's list out some forces that act on the box. So P, actually, let me, um, let me draw P in orange. So P pushes on B towards the right. The table T pushes up. Actually, um, let me let me put pushes on B with an upwards force, right? The table T is below the box and it's supporting the box by pushing upwards on it because the table and the box don't want to share space. So the table pushes up on the box so that the box can't invade its space. It's got structural integrity. And also the vice versa. The box doesn't want the table to invade its space. So it pushes down on the table, actually. But that's a force on the table, not on the box. So uh, let's continue. So the table pushes up on B. The person pushes to the right on B. And there's another force that's really interesting, and this is pretty strange. But the earth, E, pulls on 
the box B downwards. So that remember the earth is down here. Here's the earth, right? And up here is the box. So here's the box. And the earth is attracting the box downward using a weight force. So the earth is pulling the box down using a force called the weight force. Right? So if you look at this, I've got an up and a down, right? So the table is pushing upwards on the box and the earth is pulling downwards on the box and the up and the down can cancel each other. So in a sense, oops, let's do it in white, the up force and the down force can balance. They balance each other. So there is no overall up or down force, right? There's individual up and down forces, but when they combine, um, they combine or balance it to zero in the up and down directions, which means there is a leftover rightward force. And that rightward force, the leftover force, is referred to as the net force. And this is the net force on the box B. So I haven't been able to describe the word friction yet. I'm going to put that word uh, a little bit lower. So from experience, right? So the, the point of this um, video is to describe some common forces. So, so far I've described a situation of three common types of forces, a pushing force here, a pushing force that's also known as a support force there, and then a, a weight force here. But you might also have had the experience of pushing on a box across a table and realize that actually if the table is somewhat rough, like if what if the table had a bunch of sandpaper on it or it was made out of rubber or the box itself was sticky somehow on its bottom surface, then what you would be fighting is what's referred to as friction. And friction is a force that arises when surfaces try to move past each other. So they move or slide past each other, right? So it's about sliding, but it's not the same kind of force as, for example, the pushing support force. So support is a slightly different issue. And so just very quickly with the table in the box example. So let me draw the table again. Here's the table surface. Here's the table legs. The box is up here. And simultaneously, a person is pushing on the box towards the right. And friction at the surfaces is trying to um, restrict the box from going to the right. But you know that you can use, for example, a 50 Newton pushing force against, say, a 20 Newton friction force. So this is the friction, and this is the push by the person. And so if you draw the box by itself, it's got a 50 Newton towards the right force as well as a 20 Newton towards the left force. And the net, the total balance of forces is 30 Newtons towards the right. This is called the net force. So friction is because of contact interaction between two surfaces that are trying to slide past each other.